Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the VTuber News. I hope you guys enjoy what I have in store for you. Let's get right into it. As I have mentioned before, the uh, issue with Forever Million right now is that their grandfather passed away. Uh, it was just going to be a hiatus, usually, for you know, uh, other reasons, you know, for, for getting their school done, you know, relaxing a little bit and getting some projects done and learning a little bit of languages and that. And uh, they were still going to be in collab and other people's stream. That's what he wanted, at least. He wanted to still be in other people's stream. Now that's not going to be so much. Why? It's because, you know, his grandfather passed away. He was very, very, very close to his grandfather. So that is something that, of course, will suck for anybody. I have lost a grandfather myself and it, it is very painful. It is very painful to have that. It's very painful to go through that. So of course, give them space, be, try to be at least, you don't have to be kind per se, but just don't be a dick pretty much. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk in this time of need. Uh, be human. Be, uh, you don't have to even answer to anything that they say. You don't even have to read anything they say. But in these tough times when someone has had a family member that has passed away, then yeah. Um, and what am I talking about? I've mentioned it before, of course, but it is he, this is his PL and he's mentioned right here that his grandfather has passed away. And uh, here's Ver Vermillion's actual post here. Sending love to you. Sending good vibes. Always love you. You know, take care. Thank you for letting us know. Take care. That kind of stuff. Like in his PL, I sent him, you know, take all the time that you need. And, you know, it, you know, my condolences go out because like I said, this is a tough time for anybody. A family member passing away, a close family member. Even if you're not that close, a lot of times it still brings some sadness around there. So this is a time just to be human and be civil. Hoping his family will be okay. Even over here in our Kurosanji, the place where all the people are like, oh my God, only haters are here. Only haters are here. People are like, this is a family situation. This is something that like you put yourself in that situation and you're like, heck yeah, I'd feel sad. Heck yeah, I would be, I'd be crying myself, my, my eyes out, you know, wishing the best for him and making sure that uh, everyone knows to at least be still. Twitch has a serious, the Anti-Defamation League, the ADL, a huge, huge league. You know, if they're, you get in trouble with the Anti-Defamation League, you get in trouble big. Well, the ADL called them, there's no other better word other than what they call them is anti-Semitic. They got called that because they had prevented people from Israel, the area of Israel, for one year from being able to create a Twitch account, from being able to do that kind of stuff in, period, in Twitch. And Twitch lied and was like, oh, you know, we never did this with the phones and blah, blah, blah. But a lot of big artists, a lot of big people were talking about for a whole year, that whole region was locked off. You could say, oh, they're doing it because of the current conflict. They were doing it because they didn't want putting up uh, videos that shouldn't be up on Twitch and shouldn't be putting up live streams on Twitch and blah, blah, blah. Yet you have Hassan Abi putting on actual people who are hurting others, who is a Houthi, you know what word, the word that starts with a T and ends with an M and has error in it. You know, that, that word put them actually on the channel. Like they actually do this kind of stuff. They're not beating the favoritism allegations now. But here's the big issue. Once the Anti-Defamation League got on their case, that is when you Twitch really messed up. Because you could say, um, you know, we're not favorites. We're not favorites. Dan Clancy does have favorites, apparently. We all knowing this now. Bans me, then you know you have more favorites. But um, Devin Nash also warns the Apocalypse is coming to Twitch because of all these issues. Once a platform like Twitch has that type of bad publicity on them, any advertiser can easily get scared away when you can go when eh, eh, this is something you can do you can always do this if you see a coca-cola ad on like a hassan abi thing you could be like did you know that hassan abi had houthi you know you know what's on there? you could always do that and then of course it'll scare away coca-cola from twitch it'll scare away a lot of other people from twitch because you have bad actors on twitch doing very bad things doing things that would not fly with someone like me with someone like i don't know asmongold as we saw recently other things like this they would not fly for anybody else except Hassan Abi, Frogan, who's now banned for a bit, but Frogan, and other people are of that side. And that is a big issue that angers me. Lady posts on X, streamer Devin Nash explained videos why, you, why Twitch should ban all controversial content in an attempt to save the platform. Twitch streamer Novo, TV CMO Devin Nash, is known for advocating a fair sponsorship and supporting creators navigating contracts and argued Twitch should ban controversial topics. Yes, they should. Uh, the effects creators can have on their audiences, creators like Hassan Abi have a huge effect on it. And yes, I'm calling Hassan Abi specifically out because he has been the worst of them all so far, of the big creators of doing this kind of stuff. You thought Asmund Gold is bad? Look at Hassan Abi's post. Look at Hassan Abi things that they've done. Really, it's bad. Nashing up more about the current state of live streaming and the effects creators can have on their audiences. How come back to like he's now come back to talk about the current standpoint of everything he's saying here 
Twitch is an advertising that nightmare situation. Advertisers are leaving the website and not returning. Twitch has controversy and after controversy and can't get its enforcement straight. I don't know if the website will survive long term without serious changes. And this is something that they don't want Amazon to know about because Amazon is the, their big cash cow right now. Amazon is the one that owns them. Amazon is the one that gives them money. So they're in an advertising nightmare because as I mentioned, you have Frogan, you have a, a big ones, Hassan Abi. You have other people who I will not mention, but those are the big two because I want to mention the big ones first that also do the same thing or similar things who are running in their same circle and are doing the same type of content. This is not good for the platform. It never would have been allowed on, on YouTube it, because YouTube has automatic things that would have prevented it, but it's allowed on Twitch without any type of bans because Dan Clancy loves uh hassan abi he's even said it before he watches hassan abi to relax and he watches them before uh the choice ahead for dj clancy is clear to me you must either ban all controversial or extremist content or none because hassan abi has put extremists on his platform and that's not good and made youtube spend a large sum of money when when youtube remember youtube had those issues too youtube has had its issues with everything um in regards in regards to everything that's been going on youtube has had its issues with adpocalypse it's had its issues with all these things and it does have these right now. And Twitch is going to have those issues as well when it comes to these types of things. Don't care if it's super villain level, but I'll take Twitch's much better game focused website. Could have been the live streaming platform for everything, but again, the systems weren't built and that ship has sailed to YouTube and TikTok. By removing all controversial content and bringing it back to gaming, you could, the advertisers will come back. And that's what they need. They are losing their advertisers. They've lost a lot of them. They may not ever come back. And YouTube had that same issue before. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be fun because Twitch hasn't made any kind of big money in the last like 12 years. It hasn't really made any gains. So I don't know what they're going to do from now, but it's not. Siska Leontine or on Shannon, as she's known now, she used to be Siska Leontine of Nidisanji ID. Of course, the reminder to you guys always, I know you guys in my community always respect this part, but of course, if you're going to go onto on Shannon's, any of on Shannon's work, just go for them and not for who they used to be. Of course, you could be there because of they were your Oshi at some point. That is not a problem. No one's gonna knock you for that. No one's gonna be all negative for that part. But of course, everybody so far from what I know that has moved on to a new personality wants you with that, not remind them of their old one. Uh, on Shannon finally got her silver play button. It's very good. She mentioned it here, unboxing silver play button. She from Aka Virtual. Uh, so she is part of the Indonesian agency Aka Virtual. And of course, not surprised if Michi tweets her congratulatory one on her deserved achievement, especially when she has one as well. That's effing go. I'm not updated by all the former Niji members, so I'm glad that a couple, there are people reminding and informing some of us that they're still at it, still doing their best, and still winning in this case. Uh, on Shannon is especially notable because she joined the second biggest Japan agency in Indonesia, Aka Virtual, and her reach is further than every XIG with Michi as an exception. But yeah, most of them are still content creating and even collaborating with fellow XIDs, even active Niji IDs in PL. Uh, it's basically, of course, like I mentioned before, Siska Leontine. Everyone, everyone sees it as well-deserved. Every single one of the Niji ID members and Niji Sanji members who have gotten their play button, at least earned the play button, should have gotten it themselves. That's something that I've always, always, always mentioned since the very beginning. They all deserve it because they've all worked hard. There's not very many of them who have not, uh, you know, worked hard to get what they got. So I'm very happy that on Shannon, besides getting it from Siska Leontine and Niji ID, she actually gets to get one by herself. Aka Virtual, what they usually do from what I remember, they order two. One for their office and one for the liver. So the liver, the VTuber, whatever you want to call it, their talent gets one. And Aka Virtual gets one because they do have a room of people, you know, a place where they have these silver play buttons or silver plaques or whatever you want to call them. But they also pay the extra money because I think it's after you get a free one. And after that's like 150 bucks, you get that sent to you as well. So that is, you know, the differences between every More news. From Cali. More news from her singing music career. Remember, she's also part of Universal Music Japan, uh, which is, you know, run by NBC Universal, the whole big multinational corporation. Thanks to Hololive, she was able to get that. And herself, actually. It's a lot of, it's, it's a lot due to herself. Hololive could have pushed all they wanted for Universal Music to get them. But if Universal Music saw this artist wasn't good, they would have never gotten, they would have never gotten them. So it's all thanks to Cali and her hard work. She did a lot of hard work before she was Cali, and she's doing a lot of hard work now. What am I talking about? Look who's next on the stage. More info soon. Ghost X Ghost TW. It's a metal thing. It's a metal based thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny how crazy it is. But yeah, she's going to be a part of it. What is Ghost X Ghost? Ghost X Ghost is apparel and collectibles for ghosts, monsters, and you. So this is going to be uh, some, looks like it's going to be some more Calliope merch extra merch done by ghost x ghost i thought it might have been like a concert or something like that but no it looks like it's going to be more 
of a apparel type of thing. So it's ghost6ghost.com. Take a look at the stuff that they do just so you guys can get a bit of an idea of what's going on here. And of course, here you go. Metal style shirts of Godzilla minus one, of uh, Godzilla versus Space Godzilla, other Godzilla type merch, other monster merch, King Kong, and the other ones like that. You have Jet Jaguar, you have King Ghidorah, you have all these, and Mori Calliope is going to be one of them. Is going to be having merch made by them, is what I'm assuming. They haven't let anything out, but seeing as there was an apparel company, it only makes sense that they're going to be doing some apparel with Mori Calliope, which is awesome. It's awesome. She's a rapping reaper, but the fact that someone that does metal stuff is actually paying attention to her is amazing, and I'm looking forward to it. And of course, here you have her saying um, basically the whole let's go. She put that out there. She's like, uh, <laughs> let's go. Yes, of course. Ayo, and right here, Metalocalypse. Uh, it's like brutal. So yeah, gonna be fun. Lots of fun, and I'm excited about it. Hear ye, hear ye. Elizabeth's Blackbird cover has come out. You can listen to it on the areas, which is uh, YouTube Music, Apple Music, and Spotify as well. Uh, it's a Blackbird by the Beatles, covered by Elizabeth Rose Bloodflame, is now out for streaming. They have, of course, she, her saying it here. Hear ye, hear ye. Blackbird is finally out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Post your thoughts and impression using the Bloodflame iTunes. Look forward to reading. Them. And, you know, same thing. Make sure to share with friends and fam, too, who enjoy the Beatles or chill tune. Thank you. So much, sweetheart. And of course, Haku Blank, VTuber, literally on repeat. I'm already listening to it. Love your voice as always. Uh, let's go. I'm going to post it here. And for those of you who are uh, watching as on the video and things like that, remember, you, it may be restricted. It may be actually because of copyright grounds. Uh, I do apologize if YouTube mutes it because of copyright grounds. I'm going to keep it short because, you know, we just want to hear a little bit of it, not all of it, because, uh, you know, it is a Beatles thing. So it is heavily, heavily copyrighted. Moly. Holy moly. That is what I love about Elizabeth Roseblood. She says, she's always said, her covers are going to be respectful of the original content, but they're going to be covers. They're going to be her take on it. It's not going to be an exact one-to-one. -one. It's not going to be, you know, exactly the way, the way it was original. She's not trying to be like the original. She is trying to be herself which is huge respect, huge respect for her being herself. She made it herself. She made it her own. She made it her own thing. And of course, it is on her uh, YouTube channel. Uh, it's on YouTube Music, Apple Music, Spotify Music, Amazon, Deezer, iTunes, iHeartRadio. Any one of these, you can go and listen to it. You can go and, and just give her your support with that. I wanted to cover this because I had covered when it was announced. And now I want to actually go through and have you guys listen, have you guys see what's happening and hear what's happening in all of this glory all of it and i'm very happy that uh cover was able to do this absolutely happy several days ago on october 26th longer by the time that you guys see this it has been several several days since uh the 3.0 reveal showcase for vestia zeta it is a it was a very nice one i wanted to cover this because i do know some of the people that watch me are in southeast asia and do like hollow life id as well I do not want it to make it just, you know, how live EN and JP. I want to cover some ID news. And this is big news for Vestia Zeta. Here they are in their lovely, lovely look. Ah, oh, what expression would be good for this? <clears throat> Why y'all? How bad I'm getting. They all have that. They all have that. <laughs> this is really good. Why do I look like I'm up to no good? Why do I look like I'm up to no good? Because Vestia Zane is always up to no good. Seriously asking. Answer serious answers only. Is it how do how do they look? Hold on. Looks really nice. And there she is. Oh gosh, she's shaking it. The layout it. is kind of weird. She's shaking it. I think it. the layout is kind of weird. I don't think we need double oh oh unless unless there we go <laughs> there we go Uso, できる? <laughs> well, i want to show that up to you guys a little bit no, no she's shaking it shake it off shake it off i guess one percent 
So she had fun with it. She had lots of fun, which is what I wanted to show you guys. Because, of course, Zeta always has a lot of fun. Otsu Zeta. And, of course, it's like a lot of people. Otsu Zeta. Heart eyes make me blush, chief. Uh, Otsu Zeta. Everyone. Mengoda. And, of course, the shaky shaky, which I just showed you guys. And there she is. Uh, the Yandere kind of heart eyes look, which is always wonderful to see. But I love seeing these. And I love showing you guys this because, of course, I know that there are a lot of people who are fans of Hollow Life, I, as I am. I love all the... I know there were people that were going to be, oh, you know, Concord, stuff like that. Why am I mentioning Concord? Because Concord is a big thing nowadays. It's big news in general. And a lot of people that watch me are gamers. A lot of people that watch me do play games. A lot of people, a lot of VTubers play games. Heck, I play games. Known. If you watch any of my live streams, which are on both and Twitch, any of my channels that you can see in the description, those there... Um, I play game and Concord is kind of like an Overwatch style game and is kind of in a, it's showing the bad side of gaming a lot because they wanted not only to make a live service game like this because Overwatch 2 is free, but they want to make a live service like this, like service like this, this type of game, Overwatch style clone, expensive. It was expensive. It was costly to start off with and it was gone within like two weeks. Uh, Sony closes the studio. So it's not going to come back. It's not going to come back. Sony closes the studio behind Concord, reportedly losing over $200 million. Uh, yesterday, Sony announced the closure of Firewalk Studio, the team behind multiplayer hero shooter Concord that made headlines for its unfortunate release. The game came out on August 23rd, but within two weeks, its uh, servers were shut down after exceedingly poor sales, poorly only moving 25,000 copies overall. That is like indie level stuff. Originally, it was announced that it was going offline, like, uh, you know, quadruple A, I guess double A stuff, like not even the triple A game, like double A or single A type. The shuttering of the studio, its possibility seems to be dead and not going to bring it back. Herman Hulse's statement explaining why Sony Interactive Entertainment was closing the team. He wrote, certain aspects of Concord were exceptional, but others did not land with enough players. And as a result, we took the game offline. We have spent considerable time these past few months exploring all of our options. Here's the issue. I'm, this is what I'm going to put for you guys in order to not make it. It was DEI to the extreme. They were putting weirdness in there. They were putting a lot of politics in there. They were putting a lot of... Their character creation wasn't very... I mean, the characters looked... I don't know. They looked dead. They just didn't look good. They just didn't look good at all, in my opinion. The, the game itself was lacking in gameplay. It was lacking in, in substance. It was lacking in a lot. And it's just... It's unfortunate for the people who were developing it. The developers, Firewalk Studios, who were probably forced to do a lot of the things that, you know... A lot of the upper bigwigs want you to, you know, push push inclusion, push all that kind of stuff, which I'm fine with inclusion in games as long as you don't force it down my throat. Uh, all that kind of stuff with a $40 game, it didn't it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything positive. And that's the main thing, the main points that I want you to get out of here. Uh, you could get Overwatch 2 for free. They were charging 40 bucks for that. The game seemed very uninspired. It didn't, the gameplay was okay from what I've heard, uh, but it the, the characters looked uninspired. Characters looked like, they were trying to do some more Gardens of the Galaxy type thing. I don't know. It looked very, very strange. It didn't inspire any like, ah, I want to play this character or ah, I want to do this. Dialogue sucked. A lot of things were just like, what the heck is going on? I can't believe a AAA studio would put out a game like this. And that is, I'm glad that that is being shown that those games are not going to be successful. They're not going to be allowed by the gaming public. And they are not going to give them millions and millions of dollars. I'm glad. Bring the games that I remember back in the day, even games of five years ago. Bring those games back where it's the game first and then all the other stuff comes second. Idol EN's new generation has already had Yenna Youngblood becoming a YouTube partner. That's actually darn fast. And with this YouTube partnership, she's like, what the heck? She's actually so surprised if she got it. They just lost the game. Aha, sucker. Let's go. Find it. Let's go. Pop it. Other people from Globy, Cersei, and Ricky are her genmates, and uh, as well as Daisy Dandelion. They are genmates. Other people uh, from Idol EN and Globy and others have been saying, yes, congratulations, because it's a big step to be a YouTube partner because you can monetize your things. You can get super chats, super thanks, uh, memberships, that type of stuff. And of course, people went insane. Can you guys have spent sending supers while I'm offline? Y'all, why are they like this? No, take my money. No. <laughs> um, I'm going to explore why you guys like this. Yen Love, Yapcoin to the moon, LMFAO, what the F, real fans. Basically, yeah, doing all that kind of stuff. Just, just giving her, messing with her and giving her a little bit of razz, you know, razzing her a bit. Uh, Yeans naturally attract the rich furry community. It's going to be at S&P 500. You got stream elements we can abuse right now. Bam. Uh, supported nerd. Get supported nerd. So yeah, people are supporting them. And that's wonderful to see. No matter who it is, it's wonderful to see it come together for the right people, for good people, and show them the Globy, another agency that is under the Brave Group umbrella, if I'm not mistaken, the umbrella of Brave Group, among, you know, Idol and others in there. Beastboy, I believe, is also another one. They are having a Halloween 2024 illustration wallpapers are all available for free. 
for free download. Be sure to check it out on store.globy.net. For this year's Halloween, we are releasing a special set of themed wallpapers for free on our online store. For the next three days, up until Halloween, we will release one wallpaper every day, starting with our Generation 1 girdle. Get here, and of course, I'll be showing you which ones are available. Be sure to keep watch for more here over the next few days. Here are their wallpapers. You have Gen 1 girls. You have a smartphone specific wallpaper for each and every one of the girls. And then you have the desktop wallpaper for the Gen 1 girls. All for free, all digital downloads. So you're going to get it within, you know, however long it takes them to do the digital downloads. I know some places take a couple of hours because of all the processing that they have to do. But the payments and everything, once the payment goes through, that's when you're going to get everything done. But by that time, they should probably have a place for you to actually download it, either giving you a link to it or on the actual Globy store to be able to download it directly from there. So right here, you click on one of them, you add it to the cart, you pay with, with the shop.pay or whatever it ends up being, and then you can uh, get it downloaded at that point. And it's for everybody who wants the, the Globy girls, either from Gen 1, Gen 2, etc. They said, like they said, they're going to be releasing it each and every day up until Halloween. And then I believe on November 1st, they're probably all just going to erase after that. VOLs or VOLs, I guess you could call it either way. It's a VTuber agency that focuses more on esports inspired digital content with the girls that you're seeing here already part of it. And, you know, they're doing karaoke. They're doing various things. They're doing Dead by Daylight, a lot of other things out there. And why am I talking about them today? I'm talking about them because they are having narration out their new gen alert. We're very closely. We're very excited to drop a sneak peek of our upcoming Gen 2 members. Stick around for more reveals and let the guesses begin. Of course, as you might, as I mentioned before, this is a esports related content type of thing. And I always, I always do like the way that these types of, I've, I never really figured out how to do this mostly, but I do love the fact I can do this. And the fact that they're having this, uh, one question comes to mind, their thoughts on mint ice cream. A lot of people are just wondering what's going on. Mikumi is a senpai. Uh, Oshin and Kien, some people are taking a look at that. Of course, uh, as time went on and Yosuke Arai added to the current substances for this recipe, something when one of the recipes contains an explosion, thus creating all three VTubers. So they're kind of creating it like a Powerpuff Girls thing, which is interesting. Uh, F to my money. Of course, a lot of people are going to be very excited. A lot of people are going to be excited. A lot of people, when they become monetized, are going to be giving them, you know, their dues. Whoever gives to whoever, whenever they do, it is because the person earned it. Because they earned the being their Oshi or being their Kami Oshi. Or whatever you know it is a personal decision and of course i wish the best and most of luck the best of each of these in the second gen and when they get revealed i'll probably make a video on them. welcome back everybody to the vtuber showcase the place where i like to showcase up and coming vtubers vtubers of all sizes of all types and all forms every single form i do not discriminate on anybody you can have it in all forms i do this to try to push the community up to create positive change to just bring something positive to the community. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of other stuff there. I don't want to have that be just the big part of the community. I want to bring other people up with me. Northale is one of them. Uh, Northale VT, a Blahaj VTuber, correctly. They are a he, him, and their comms link is there. Take a look at their bot section. Hi, I'm North. I'm Blahaj VTuber who streams a variety of games. Also an artist in training. Can't wait to meet you. Uh, we go on many adventures. Uh, and you know that kind of stuff there. Um, let's see, I stream a variety of games. Began VTubing in April 8th, 16th, 2023. Very hyper interactive with my chat. I try to maintain that environment. And let's take a look at their environment that they do create. They do not have a YouTube channel as far as I can tell. But if they do or ever did, I will, uh, of course, show it to you. Hi, Candy. I'm here to recruit you to be an awesome streamer. I Guys, am. be ready to <laughs> click the clip button. No! Okay, go on, go on, North. Do the redeem. There we go. So, yeah. Everyone loves Arara. Ara. Some people can do it really well. Like, just suck at everything. <laughs> so, of course, appreciate you for allowing me to showcase you on my channel. I do hope that this helps give you a little bit more uh, views, viewers on there, and at least get some eyes on it, of course. And I hope that your day is awesome and everyone else's day is awesome. Have a wonderful day. And of course, enjoy the time. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.